Bonjour, messieurs. No, that's wrong, because that's mister, isn't it? Um, hello, and welcome to another video. So, today, I, I've tried it before, and it went wrong, but I am trying the baking of the face. <coughs> Purely because I have my new <coughs> translucent powder that I want to try with. I love Amazon. So I've got my loose powder. I've already primed and prepped my face. Uh, my usual routine, use this on the forehead, around the eyes. And then my trusty old Smashbox primer, which I love, which I'm almost running out of. So my face is done. And I'm also going to be trying a different foundation today. Normally I use the number seven foundation range. Um, because I've said before, I have eczema, my pigments are crap in my face, I've got another nice cold sore, but it's huge! Probably wrong time for doing this video, but I'm desperate to try out my new loose powder. Uh, so I am trying a Body Shop range foundation. Uh, it is the Moisture Foundation, uh, and it is in number 7. So I'm trying this out, and I'm hoping it's the right colour for my face, because that is the main... Thing I struggle with at the moment because I'm I'm naturally blonde like I've said um, but I have black hair so I like to be a shade darker maybe to look a bit Latino sexy Latino even though I have never seen a sexy Latino with short hair so I'm just gonna use my hands with this one God, it already looks too light smells good Feels so very moisturising as well because one thing I always find with a lot of foundations is I put it on like these airbrushed ones. I love the look of them, but on me they look bloody horrendous. I think I've possibly put too much on my hands, but it does feel nice. I don't know if it's given me more of a uh, full coverage, which is what I want because my other one, like I've said, is just a medium coverage. Right, I'm going to carry on doing this, and then when I come to baking of the face, I'll slow it down. A welcome back. So, I have done my brows. Hardly much makeup on today. Do you know what, right? I have bought a lot of makeup. This palette is probably the best palette I've ever bought. I absolutely love the colour. Um, and it's probably the cheapest palette I bought as well. The colours in there are beautiful. I have on this one. And then, go on, look at my mirror. And then this one, just in the corners. But this is the best palette ever. So I've done my mascara. I've got to stop rubbing my hair. This is a monster. I'm gonna change my channel to Cold Soul Girl, I swear. This is not the best light either. I thought I look really hench. And my boobs look massive and they're not. It's the angle. Um, I thought the light would be better in here rather than in my bedroom. I'm in the bathroom, as you can probably tell. But it's shocking. Any who sir. So I do normally use this one for under my eyes, but I tried this with baking before and it just went cloggy. Whether that's because I was crap at it or not, I don't know. Um, so this is my other trusty one. I find if you leave it on, then blend it out, it sits better. So I am just going to blend it out with my damp beauty blender, and I can't look in that mirror in the phone. And then with the corner, just to sharpen up where I have done my eyeliner, 
Okay, it's not working. This light is horrendous. I don't know if it's because I've been ill lately or what, but I don't normally have wrinkles under my eyes that I'm aware of. Maybe I've just been oblivious because I'm just more focused on those bad boys, but they're not good. But apparently the baking, you know, seals everything in, gives you that flawless Photoshop feel. Uh, whether that will work on someone with eczema, cold sores. I've got these, um, I don't know if you can see, the little bumps. They're not spots. Uh, they're called mollicus something. They're basically a virus that can last up to two years. Terrific. And I've suffered with them for four years, on and off. <coughs> excuse me um but my problem is is they're like milk spots and unfortunately I like to prick at them and then it spreads them so I should just leave it the hell alone anyway so I'm opening my powder I'm a bit excited about this I've only tried the baking once I can't remember if I put the video on or not but it did not go well I looked awful I looked like a cake okay so I'm gonna get a little bit oh it smells nice I'm going to get a little bit out of the lid. All right, a bit more. It smells, it smells very nice. But apparently this is quite a good one. Oh, come on now. Yes, apparently this is a good right. I'll be back. Jesus, that only took me 10 hours to get into it. Right, so apparently... Need to get quite a load on your beauty sponge and then lightly dab it on around the eye. Well, apparently, this stuff, so say, covers up fine lines, blah 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 blah, like everything else says it does. So I think, unless you've got perfect skin, Botox. <laughs> or you're nine, then you're always going to have wrinkles. There's nothing magic going to happen at all. So apparently you're supposed to leave this on for five minutes for it to do the chemical bit, which is your body heat reacting with the concealer, but then the powder stops it so it does it in between and then it creates that finish and blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to look amazing. Yeah, my nails look crap because I'm going to get them done today. I just filed all the shellac off. So I'm going to get them done. It is my day off. So I'm going to let that set. While that's setting, I'm going to do me blush. Not me blush because I've decided I look awful with blush. So do me highlight. I can't even do me highlight. I'll just put some bronzer on while this is waiting. All right. Well, that was probably the longest five minutes of me life. So, I have uh, set the rest of my face with this powder. I was dreading putting it on my forehead because that is my problem area. My main one, anyway. Uh, but actually, so far, so good. I ain't going to get pure, perfect skin because I don't have it in the first place. You can only work with what you've got. So, like it says, just lightly... Dust it away. Well, I think one eye's come out better than the other, to be honest. Just move it so you can see. It's not bad, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm sat on the floor. It's actually all right. Again, I've got bags, you know. But I am quite impressed. I've done me, me bronzer. Um, I do quite like it. This light, again, like I said, is really harsh. So it's going to show up everything. If I go in my bedroom, my light is like, Girl, you're good. 
So I'll just stay in there all day. Well, I won't because I need to get my nails done. But yeah, so that is the baking of my face. And actually, this powder is friggin' amazing. Thank you, Amazon. I love you, Amazon. Um, so if you're stuck on powders, try this. It, when I look at it though, was it? Air Spum. I think of Air Sprung, which I'm sure is a mattress company. I'm sure it is. But yeah, so that is me done. I'm gonna go and face the world with me mate. I've always got mate, me mate by my side, sort my hair out. Um, I will check in later just to see if it's still, this isn't flawless, but if we say that the flawless look. Uh, yeah, okay, thanks for watching. And keep an eye out for my other videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. My Snapchat, because of my name, is, last name, is horny h-o-r-n-e-e -E, 1982 and my instagram is lady retro 1982 lovely thank you a peace out okay so in that sky today i forgot to do my hair because i'm running late for my nails because it's broken and she'd kill me but this is my makeup in natural light and actually the natural light is a lot better the bathroom light is a demon. But also, oh, I so spat. Also, my friend is very prominent as well. I look like I've been punched in the face. But yeah, so I'm quite impressed with it actually. I do quite like it. So I am going to check in later and see how it's getting on just to show you. Have a good day. Hi. So this will be the last update. I've just got home, had my nails done today by the lovely Brogan. She always does a fantastic job, even though my hands look dry, but the nails look lovely. I always feel better after I've had my nails done. Um, so uh, it's a definitely a massive, massive thumbs up for the Airspun translucent powder. Um, the light is obviously better out here than in my bathroom. I don't think I'll be doing another blog vlog in my bathroom because it's just not flattering so I'm going to be doing all my vlogs in the car um I don't have a great camera I use my iPhone 6 yes uh to do all my videos so I don't have great lighting what you see is what you see not slagging anyone else off but other videos that I've watched that I've just got tips off myself they obviously have a great setup the lighting is lovely their face always looks flawless I kind of think if you have wrinkles, if you have bad skin, there is no makeup in the world without being airbrushed or photoshopped that's gonna make you look any any different. You work with what you got. We got what we got, girls. That's it, be happy with it. So I am actually over moon with this stuff. Um, I'm gonna have a, you know, a play around with doing the baking thing. I probably don't think I let it set properly, I don't know. Uh, but I think that stuff's absolutely brilliant. So this is all day I've worn it, it hasn't budged at all. Haven't put a setting spray on, just the powder. Um, I think it's absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to go in now. I've just been shopping. I might do a haul video. I don't know. I don't know if anyone's interested enough. Um, I, I just like making videos. It soothes my anxiety. <laughs> uh, okay, but yeah, great. So thumbs up for that stuff. Thank you for watching. Uh, please continue to watch and subscribe if you haven't already. And keep an eye out for my other videos. Peace, take care.